Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the giant bamboo. The species that we are seeing uh, right in front of us is called Dentroclamus gigantius. This is one of the biggest that I have here and it's one of the tallest also. As you can see, I hope you are seeing. Okay, let's also see how much or how many poles it contains. What we are seeing also, this is all, this is one clump. And this clump has the highest poles. I think it's more than a hundred poles. As you can see, it's so dense. And one of this, I want you to see properly. Like this one. This one, probably the diameter is about six inches. And many of them, a few of them are tiny like those ones. And I think they are still growing. Uh, I will also show you one of the clumps of gigantias that has given us seeds. Bamboo is a very funny plant. It doesn't give uh, seed uh, frequently. I understand from research that it only does seed only once in, six, in 60 years or 50 years or so. So as we move on, we are going to see the one that has given us the seed. It's this clump here. And I will show you the ones that has given us the seed. I'm sure you can see uh, something brown. Those ones are already dry and they are, they are dead. Uh, from research, it's uh, shown that uh, once the bamboo has given a seed, it dies. And I have seen it. This is experience. I have seen that. So the, all those that are brown are the ones that have already seeded. Let us move on to some of them because we have about seven clumps of gigantias. And all this we have planted along the river bank. This river is seasonal. And as you can see, today there were floods a few days ago. You can see some have already stuck on one of the trees here. You can also see some of the things that the flood brought about and of course silt. So every year at around this time, April, May, there's a lot of rain and that is what we experience here. So this riparian area, we want to take care of it by planting especially bamboo which will hold the soil and take care of this river for some time now we have had water since we planted the bamboo so bamboo also helps in holding water this next one is called the Troclamus aspa. It's also as tall, but it is thinner. We are going to see another one, which is a bit clearer. Yes, this one. This is thinner, but tall. 
and strong, very strong too. Look at it, look at it. These ones have probably more than 50 poles, not as many as the gigantias. But I think it is probably because we have not been harvesting uh, more often because they say you have to harvest to give room so that others can grow again. So in due course, we will be harvesting so that we give room. So this is another clump of Deltroclamus asper and to some extent I think this is blackish, I don't know, it has a different um, color but it's still asper. Let us move on, we also have about seven clumps of the same. And you can also see some of the trees we have planted together. So they do well with other trees. Thank you for watching.